Laid back is not the way to describe life in Taiwan's capital city of Taipei. Traffic jams that make New Yorkers go, wow. Enough coffee shops to make a Seattle native cry out for decaf and a true love of whiskey. The Taiwanese consume a lot of whiskey. Taiwan is one of the top 10 whiskey consuming countries in the world, despite having just 23 million people. And it's not hard to find good whiskey here in Taipei. This 7-Eleven store on the corner sells a bottle of Macallan 12-year-old for just a little over $40 U.S. But Taiwan never had a whiskey to call its own until T.T. Lee, the chairman of one of Taiwan's largest food companies and a whiskey lover at heart, decided to take advantage of a change in government policy. Taiwan's entry into the World Trade Organization in 2002 forced the government to give up its liquor monopoly, and Mr. Lee's King Car Food Industrial Company jumped in. About 90 minutes southeast of Taipei in Ilan, King Car built a distillery next to its bottled water plant. The stills and equipment all came from Scotland. In fact, a stillman from Speyside would feel right at home in the King Car still room. But there's one big difference. Whiskey matures a lot faster in Taiwan. It's just one of the tricks master blender Ian Chang and his mentor, longtime distilling consultant Dr. Jim Swan, have at their disposal. The weather here is actually uh, can be turned from our from our disadvantage into our advantage because we managed to capture the energy from the sun and then to make it work for us, which means uh, you know faster maturation. The faster maturation maturation, I, I would say that is you know is a combination of uh, the weather and also a selection of good casks. Plus, uh, during the new make, we have to be also made in a strict procedure. In, in, in other words, um, I would say that it's because of our um, attention to details that we try to make every stage uh, properly, plus the, uh, the heat. Then the whiskey can be matured in a faster way. The first casks of Cavalan single malt whiskey, named for the indigenous people of the Elon area, were filled in 2005. Since then, the distillery has filled its first warehouse with 170,000 casks of spirit. A second warehouse will open by the end of 2011, doubling King Car's storage capacity for a Taiwanese whiskey designed to fit the Taiwanese culture. In the Far East, people like fruity, non-peaty whiskies, and they often drink whiskey with their food. So you have to make a whiskey which complements the food and doesn't fight it. You know, a, wh a peaty whiskey usually would, unless you're eating smoked salmon or, or some kind of smoked fish. But Cavalan has reached cult status outside Taiwan, as the word spreads. In 2010, two-year-old Cavalan defeated three-year-old Scotch whiskies in a blind taste test conducted by the Times of London. Since then, Cavalan Solist has won Whiskey Magazine's World Whiskies Award for Best Rest of the World Single Malt two years in a row. Whiskey Magazine also named Cavalan's Visitors Center its World Icons of Whiskey Award winner for Best Visitor Attraction in 2011. It gets around one million visitors a year and took just nine months to build. Cavalan's expressions and their newest release, King Car Single Malt, sell for around $80 a bottle because T.T. T. Lee and his son Y.T. Lee, who manages the King Car Whiskey Operations, wanted their whiskies to compete with the world's best single malts on quality instead of price. Those whiskies are only available in Taiwan, China, Japan, and Hong Kong for now, but the Lees have big dreams. They want King Car to become one of the world's top five single malt distilleries over time. Long-term thinking is very much a part of the philosophy at King Car Distillery. In fact, there's a sign here that reads, we are here for a 100-year distillery project. If you'd like to find out more about King Car and Cavalan, check whiskeycast.com for episode 310. You'll find out more details on the Cavalan and King Car project. I'm Mark Gillespie.